kind of bricked up, so you got like the academic part, and then you got the filming part, and you make like a small field work. You actually do two films, that's it. Two films? A small film and a master film. Okay. And you don't like, then you get the camera and you use it and you film. So you don't even, you don't get that much basic training in filming at all. It's like pretty much just as a camera to make a film. Oh really? So there, what about with editing? Because I know trying to work with other suites, you know, they can be quite complicated. Is there a well, lot you get of some types? technical support, but you don't have, we don't really get any, uh, you don't get any theories really about filmmaking in that way. Okay. It's much more hardcore uh, based on anthropological. Theory. It's more like finding your own way to to approach people with a camera. Mm -hmm. So you don't like you don't come there to learn how to make films, like technically. Basically. No, or like technically theoretically or anything. You don't get you don't get like filmmaking and that such. You don't get any theories about cutting up or how to cut a film. Mm -hmm. Kind of. But that's that's kind of a style as well in mm -hmm. political film. It doesn't doesn't it that that important how to. The style is not that important. It's the message. Yeah. That's kind of basic camera, filming, yeah. conveying somebody's... Okay. Yeah, because one of the things... Like, hmm? Yeah, conveying somebody's, like, that's the basic idea about, about it, I think. Like, conveying somebody's everyday life, and it doesn't really... The form isn't that important. Usually, anthropological films are usually made by one person from A to Z. Oh. You know, there's one person that is the cameraman and the sound man and the editor and the everything, you know, from the beginning to the end. It's a very kind of collaborative process that we we read each other's papers and we see each, o each other's material, film material and everything. So that kind of... Uh, and since our class is a very uh, cross-cultural, we have like 10 people uh, from all kinds of different countries all over the world. So uh, just talking to your classmates is already kind of a learning experience for you, uh, which uh, I think is very good. It kind of uh, takes the load off the teachers as well, because <laughs> you already can learn from your classmates a lot. And also by going through their projects, you don't just work on your own film and your own thesis and your own papers, but you kind of read the others and you criticize. We have uh, seminars where we discu discuss each other's uh, work and uh, it's kind of very um, uh, collaborative in that sense that you learn from your uh, classmates. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about what I want to do afterwards or make films, but I don't know, actually, I don't think people really, I, I didn't know really what it was all about. Was it like, I did a lot of photography before, and I just thought like I would do something more practical than purely I can study philosophy. So it was something, you were interested in film, uh, this yeah. looked like a, a degree that could combine that with something oh, visuals. more. Yeah. Visual expression stuff, but or producing something visual. Well, and you said you're into photography. I was. was. In visual cultural studies, this is visual. Did you do any photography throughout your degree that you've done so far? And Very little. Like it's, it's mostly video. video. Yeah, yeah, it's video. Okay. It's like one day where you have to hand in some still photos or something. That's like, that's nothing. It's video. It's okay. video. But I had an act, I didn't know what I was using. Like, I actually didn't know what the program was. All about so before I got here. Okay. Yeah. Now I was trying to to brainstorm in my head why. Um, I think that at that time when I finished my bachelor studies, it was the period that I was kind of the most intensive that I was standing on the road and hitchhiking from one place to another, just like in Europe, not outside Europe. But there I met like very interesting people from also different cultures. And I always knew that I went to study abroad, my master's studies. And somehow I came to scan, like to Norway. And uh, this is the studies that uh, it was just kind of a coincidence that I got to know about. And that looked so exotic to come up to North and 
study this unique program. Okay. I was like thinking that this is a, a sign or some kind of a miracle that appears just at the right time when I'm just finished my, my studies and I'm searching for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, had you had a film or photography experience before? No, not, not really. Actually, at, I, I was accepted for the Oslo summer school after my bachelor to the media studies and the focus at that summer was the documentary films. So it was, as I said, kind of coincidence that from the more like press uh, media, I was dragged to visual. So that was really good yeah. opportunity for me to start something new. Okay. And then for you, Holger? Yeah, I, I have my bachelor's degree in social anthropology. And uh, I always liked anthropology I thought it was interesting but I also thought it was a little bit dry and uh, I was kind of tired of sitting in libraries all day and writing papers that nobody reads and uh, so when I found out that you could actually combine anthropology with uh, making films I thought that was very interesting way more fun okay so uh, I found out that there's three places in Europe that have this kind of program and uh, Tromsø seemed like it was the, the best of these three. Where were the other two places? The other one was like Berlin and, and, and Manchester in England. Okay. And yeah. those two don't, don't really... Uh, the, the appeal to you? They didn't really and appeal to me, no. To add, in addition to that, they also... Uh, how does, like, they need the tuition fee. Oh, okay. And this is the like, exceptional option that you... You don't have you don't have to pay for the studies. That's true. Yeah. And then yes, I studied uh, archaeology back home in Estonia, and then uh, uh, there's an uh, anthropological film festival in my hometown, Tartu, as well. And then I, uh, I was uh, watching the films there once in the on uh, 2009, and I thought this would be uh, interesting to do, have a kind of a Cool Indiana Jones lifestyle, you know, uh, travel around the world, adventures, um, meet interesting people, <laughs> make films about them. So I went to, um, I googled, uh, no, I, I read it on uh, Wikipedia, the article for visual anthropology. And then it listed the, the universities where you can study that, and Tromsø was the only one which was uh, for free. And also, I, uh, this idea of living here in the Arctic kind of. Uh, appealed to me as well. So that's why I'm, uh, I'm here.